So we do have uh, some new details about the parents of the teen accused of last week's school shooting in Michigan. They were arrested Saturday morning following an intense manhunt. According to officials, they were hiding in a Detroit warehouse near the Canadian border after withdrawing $4,000 from an ATM. They've pleaded not guilty to four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Now, prosecutors say they bought their son a gun as an early Christmas present and failed to keep it locked up. They also revealed that on the Monday before the shooting, a teacher saw their son searching ammunition on his phone and the mom did not respond to officials when they called her about it. But later she sent him a text message saying, quote, LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught. Wow. OK, Al, you're a father and a former teacher. How does this make you feel? Well, I mean, I had something scheduled to say, Sam, but I was looking at my phone and two of my Friends that are educators said that uh, a place close to where I grew up is on lockdown because what? of possible multiple shooters. We're not going to say any names. I don't. We got to get facts. Oh my gosh! But this is where we are. We're talking about school shootings while I'm getting texts about other school shootings in real time. So I mean, until we're ready to have a conversation about guns and we're not going to just give the lip service of like we have to do something about this, we'll continue to do this. I don't. I. I, I cannot believe it's gone this far. But when we didn't nip this in the bud, when this started happening over and over again, and we started making dividing lines over guns, this is the result. And inaction is also a choice. And we've decided to, to not do anything. So this is what happens, Erica. So I don't know what words I could say until we decide that we're going to start electing people that are going to do something about this. Do we, are we going to but completely think, eradicate it? Do no, you but think do something. penalizing parents, which is new, would be a deter, uh, would deter other school shootings from happening. Do you think parents are going to be more on high alert? Yeah, I, I think, you know, uh, Al brought up a very interesting point. Like, there are no real repercussions, right? I mean, there are situations where someone comes in and does a mass, mass shooting and they take their own life. And even with this uh, boy who went in and shot up his school, like, if the parents hadn't been held accountable in the way that they're being held accountable, we would just be like, okay, this will go through the news cycle. We'll wait for the next one because inevitably there's going to be a next one. When we have these conversations about these particular parents who had every indication, the school saying we're going to send them home, the parents saying, well, we don't have like, well, since when is that an option? Like, well, we're just going to go to work. So don't send him home. He'll be fine here. Like, who gets to make that decision when your child is, is obviously in some type of turmoil and has this capability and you know he has this capability because you just gave him a gun. So until we start talking about, yes, penalizing the parents, Kyle Rittenhouse, 17 years old, his mother drove him over state lines with a semi-automatic gun and is she facing any consequences right now? I think everybody needs to be held accountable because that's the problem. No one feels like it's their responsibility. If it's not the parents' responsibility, then who the hell's responsibility is this supposed to be? I got to agree with Erica and say this. Lock them up. Yeah. Lock them up and make it a federal law. This is a state law that Michigan's saying if you contribute to a shooting, you get to be considered for involuntary manslaughter. Lock them up. Why are they okay letting this happen with the parents giving a 15-year-old a gun and then not telling the school he had a gun when he was brought in that day with the parents? And may I just say, this is from the sheriff, okay? He says, certainly the second encounter in the morning, I believe, was more than appropriate to contact law enforcement. We have a pattern. I know our school resource officer would have been asked to remove him and have counseling immediately. They didn't tell, they dropped the ball. Everybody dropped the ball. Hold them up and lock them but up. But what is the ball? I don't understand why there's not there a the protocol in, situation. in place I mean, for everything. I do. I believe me there. You could go back and you could look at how the school didn't check his backpack when they had some sort of an inclination. I get it. But at the end of the day, I don't want to take away from the responsibility of these these parents. I agree. With and you. I actually I'm going to say something very unpopular here, even though I have so much Just empathy in my heart mm -hmm. for the victims. I 
feel sorry for this son. If they grew up with, if he grew up with those parents, I can only imagine the vitriol, the hate, the lack of accountability that they implemented mm -hmm. in him on a daily basis. This kid was drawing paintings saying, help me get these thoughts out of my head. This child, and yes, I'm saying child, and I know a lot of people have a problem with that too, was screaming for help. Yes, he deserves to also be locked up and to face the full penalty for taking lives. Yes, but all the responsibility, in my opinion, falls on those parents. Lock them up. And may they never see the light of day. How dare them.